Joan. I'm Jeanette. Welcome to the Knit One Sip Two podcast. What are we sipping today, Joan? Knit One Sip Two, episode two. Episode two. Episode two. two. Right. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so today we're um, drinking Bernarda Chardonnay um, from one of our local Monterey vineyards. Um, it's a 2016. It's for you whinies out there. Which sounds better than winos. Um, <laughs> it's kind of drinking a little citrusy. It's not, I mm, like. It's just nice for an afternoon. Yeah, it, exactly. It's not, it's kind of closer to a Sauve Blanc. And it's not an expensive bottle of wine. It was like $16 at Costco. I try to keep my wine purchases like under, like right around the $15 mark. Because um, you're drinking so much of oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Everything I've ever heard and read is that you don't need to spend a ton of money to drink good wine. So, and here we're really lucky because we have the Santa Lucia Highlands. We get some amazing white wines. Um, so, throughout the course of the podcast, we hope to bring you some. Um, so, anyway, so this is kind of drinking light, a good summer wine. It's nice. Yeah, yeah it's nice I mean, for it's, an afternoon. And it's really yellow. It's really Thursday, yellow. May 2nd, uh -huh. 2019. Oh, I don't believe we said that on our first podcast. Oh, so yeah. we're just getting this down. But it, it's Thursday, May 2nd. I'm Jeanette. Okay. I'm this Joan. Is Joan. Mm -hmm. I'm Riley K on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. And I'm Units, spelled Y-U-K-N-I-T-S. Because my last name is U. Like K-U. Without I'm, you. Okay. I'm Nettie Keys, K-E-Y-S on hey, we're Riley. Instagram. Oh, on Instagram, sorry. I'm very slow to speak. <laughs> and, um, uh, and we now have a knit one sip to Instagram and Ravelry group. So yes, but thank I you, don't Joan. know how to work Instagram yet. So Macy, my 18 year old, is supposed to teach me. Okay. So I've, yeah. I've got we'll get there. one photo on there of the sweater that I talked about last week. And that's I it. Saw it. I haven't no, done it. We'll, we'll get there. And we'll get there. And yeah, we'll, we'll have show notes this week. Well, this is, yeah, this is an education for, right? for both of us. Yeah. Me. I'm, so you wanted to give a couple of shout outs, didn't you? Oh, we have followers. <laughs> we have, like, what did I say? 102 views. And we have seven subscribers on our YouTube channel. So, so exciting. Um, so two particular, two people in particular um, Jean KD and Patty J, both Monterey residents at some point. They were so excited to see Gary's B roll. Um, Gary's our editor and, <laughs> and her husband. Um, <laughs> so, and Jean KD suggested some chocolate wine from Thor mm. Thornton Winery in Temecula. So, chocolate Jean. Chocolate wine, hello. I mean, like, is there a better combination? Right? I so know. we're going to go check that one out. Hopefully we'll bring it to you guys sometime in the next few weeks or months. And, you know, like, twist my arm. I'm going to have to try some chocolate and wine. Right. I know, oh, right? Bummer. Tough, Tough job. job. 
<laughs> but thank you to everyone so, who yes. watched our podcast. I, yes. I mean, this is just about building a community. So how fun is that? And yes. so thank you for joining yeah. us and uh, joining our little community. Yeah. We we'll look forward to meeting you virtually and hopefully someday mm -hmm. in person. Yes, because we are always trolling the aisles of stitches. So hopefully next year, stitches. And other will stitches and all kinds yeah. of things. But we can talk about that later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay, so... Okay. Yeah, you're going to start off with um, your... What, do you, what did you bring? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, first of all, mm -hmm. I have a gift for you. Remember <gasps> I mentioned oh. the gift last week? Or two weeks ago, or our first podcast? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I will find the gift, and okay. it's to commemorate our very first podcast. Aww. So Joan hasn't seen this, so... I'm so excited. I've done this for a couple of weeks now. It came right after our first podcast. Oh my gosh! So cute! Oh my... <laughs> okay, look at this. It's... Am I going to get it? Look at the little, the little glass with the little umbrella sticking out. And then there's like a tequila bottle and lemon... And ice cubes and I think lime. It's a gin bottle. Oh my god, is it a gin which, bottle? Yes, which is so no. apropos. Okay, wait, wait. Gotta put the glasses on. Oh my gosh, it is a gin bottle. Yeah. And ice cubes. Oh, I love it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I love it. Oh yeah. my gosh, so perfect. I, so I know it was perfect for you. <laughs> yeah. So, so if Jen, so much if Jen didn't gin. explain, if Joan didn't explain <laughs> last time, uh, the first time I ever had a gin and tonic, I haven't had that much to drink, honestly. Um, it's just been a long day, um, a long week at work. The question is, is have um, you had that much to eat today? No, actually. No, well then. Uh, so, so the first time I ever had a gin and tonic was at Stitches West with Joan many years ago. And so yeah. since then, it's kind of become our, our drink for Stitches West. Um, among a few others. But well, yeah, we kind of, we've started to pick, like, themes every year. Yeah, yeah, which is Yeah, fun. it's fun. It and now fun. I like a good gin and tonic. And so these came from Demelz's Delights oh on gosh. Etsy. Look at that. And Look at she the is cubes. in a European country. European that country. I cannot remember at this point. Look at that. It'll oh, be wait, linked in the, the show gin. notes because we'll actually have show notes this time. Look at that. So... So cute. Oh yeah. my gosh, I can't I, wait to use them. I know, them. I was so excited. <gasps> so cute. And you know what I like about these? The hoops are like closed. Because I can I tell you, I've gotten some stitch markers where there's like a little opening in the hoop. Yeah, and the yarn gets caught. Yeah. The fingering like the <sighs> yarn gets caught there. Yeah. So frustrating. So these are, these are fabulous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have, so, I'm going to giggle every time I use them. Right? I'm I be, know, that's what I thought. I'm going to be sitting on the couch and knitting, giggling. I was super more excited to, yeah. I think I'm not Super so, excited so. to give them to you. Thank so you. it was Thank to you. commemorate so cute. our podcasting journey. So cute. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm wearing today is, mm -hmm. is funny because I wore this purposely oh. because it's, it's me made May in the sewing world. And even mm -hmm. though this is a knitting podcast, I'm also a sewist. Mm -hmm. And so this is a dress I made. It's hard to see because it's black and it's very plain, but uh, it's a cute little black dress. Right? And I made it about 15 years ago. Yeah. And can I tell you how much I wear it? It's an out of print Vogue pattern. I've made several iterations of the pattern. Can I tell you how much I'm jealous that you still fit into a dress that you made 15 well, years ago? It's a little tighter than it used to be, but. You know what, honey? It, my, it'd be tight on my big toe 15 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I have a little work to do there, but you know what? A black dress is always great. So this is right. the epitome of slow fashion, this dress. I love this dress because it's wearable. It doesn't wrinkle. It's it simple. Down. It's mm. some, it's some, the funny thing is, it's, it's like a some, jersey. Yeah. A jersey knit that I had in my, in oh my, my gosh, fabric you don't even stash. have a zipper in it. Oh no. It was like an hour long sewing project. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, it was the simplest thing. That's lovely. And so I, so it's the epitome of slow fashion. So I like it. Oh, totally. I don't dry it. I always hang it to, to dry. But that's but amazing that you've had it for 15 that? years. Could, you can wash a, it. It has no zipper. The fabric, it still fits it you. It doesn't wrinkle. The, I could completely travel in it. You know, I could wad it up and it would be fine. Yeah, I'm it's one of those super you to convenient. Make me something. Yeah, <laughs> will do. Um, and then in knitting, since this is a knitting podcast, mm -hmm. in knitting, uh, this is, see. let's see. Is this the Fabs? Fanny... Fausch, Fanny Fausch sweater, mm -hmm. and I'll stand up. It's um, look at her back. 
Wait, let me get you one out of the way. So cute. So I, my gosh, this feels great. Too. I Who went this? through, it's Miss Babs. It is Miss Babs. It's Miss Babs yeah. Yowza in the Sweet Pea colorway. So when I first let my hair go gray, I was in a phase of, I wore a lot of black and gray, but because mm -hmm. my hair is now gray, um, I thought, you know, I need to add some color to my life. So I went to Stitches Midwest and I immediately got the brightest thing I could get. I mean, when did you so, go to Stitches Midwest? I mean, not Midwest, West. Stitches Mid, Stitches Just West. Just checking, making sure you're not cheating on, on the, No. <laughs> Midwest on the mind. Okay. Uh, but this is from Stitches West. I think mm -hmm. I purchased it in 2016. I was with you. Oh, I know you were with me. Yeah. That's the only time you've ever been is with me. <laughs> exactly. And the funny thing about this is that I never finished putting on the buttons. So you can oh. see that, like, I don't know why I do that sometimes. It's very like, bizarre. But anyway, let me go back to my notes. It's the Fanny Fouch or Fanny Fouché, I'm not sure, sweater mm -hmm. by Ellen Mason. I knitted it in 2016-17. I started it in 2016, but I actually finished it all except for one sleeve. And I let one sleeve go until 2017. Did I time out because you were irritated I or don't just know. got bored? I think I got bored. But mm. like, what possesses me to leave one sleeve for a year? Because, I mean, what is the likelihood of the sleeves matching? Now, was it a know. top down or bottom it's up? It's top or? down and it was mm -hmm. contiguous set in sleeves which was really, really fun to do yeah they to look do. a little they've got they look like they've got structure or something yeah you know, they, like, they don't really i mean yeah. it, it, they don't really like yeah, you no, can they see from but. this angle that um that they don't <laughs> shave your underwear <laughs> <laughs> i did i did okay. <laughs> um, but yeah it was a really e the the instructions were no, very so cool. detailed and it was fun to knit the contiguous method work what for me to continuous uh, mean like th when it, with knitting you know that's a very good question i i should have looked it up but it's the one SAT where word you, yeah, right <laughs> um it's the one where you start like you start and then you on a provisional cast on and then you mm -hmm. add on and huh yeah so it, it and then like do you in, put these on a stitch holder in. and then pick up do you I remember? think so. It's been yeah. years. I think so. It's been years. <laughs> I think so. So I was looking for a sweater that I could wear to work and would be, you know, professional and all of that. And so I, I wear this occasionally. It's very warm mm -hmm. because it, it's a worsted weight sweater. And I would say that because it's super wash, it pills a fair amount. You got something on it, so make sure you yes. wash it. So no, it I've washed it. So I was going to talk about that. Mm. I think it's glue or something. Mm. I There's a a dark spot right here and it's hard yeah and i've washed it and it won't come out so i don't know what i did to it but this is the fanny fouche sweater okay. fanny fouche cool. yeah it looks really good like and it's... you gotta love miss babs i love miss babs really nice yarn at i feel like really great value she's got a ton on the skein yeah it's not expensive it's beautiful hand dyed colors yeah i mean i remember gosh i remember discovering her like years ago yeah you told me about it the first years year I ago and mm -hmm. i mean you probably bought like two skeins and made that whole sweater it, it was two skeins mm -hmm. yeah it was a whole sweater yeah. in two skeins the only thing is is it will because it's super wash mm. it will pill and you just need to be aware of that and and i you know, it, but it looks good. Cleaner, but yeah, it looks good. I mean, considering and... it looks really good. Yeah, yeah. So, so when I want to like be bright and outside of my typical dark colors, then I, I wear this. So sorry, I'm looking for my shaver because I was gonna say if it pills. Ah, here we go. Are you skipping ahead to gadgets? No, I'm. This isn't on gadgets. But oh. you said pills, and so yeah, that's what this is for. Is that the travel gleaner? <laughs> It's a gleaner. I don't know if it's the travel gleaner. Oh yeah, it's a travel it's gleaner. I use. I have the regular gleaner. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It was. It, okay. it was dirty. It, uh, so I have the regular non-travel gleaner, and yeah. this is the travel gleaner, which we could talk about and get gadgets later. We're getting on the outline again. Cut. Oh, <laughs> so structured. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay, my turn. Um, what are you wearing? So. This is actually, I'm kind of cheating because I, I've been a little busy going to, to dance conventions or dance competitions lately. 
Are you a, a drug- dance mom a I'm la a the dance, dance moms show no, on God, TLC? I hope not. God, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I'm so. not sure you could be my friend. Mm. Um, but that's another story. Anyway, but I had to drive to Pittsburgh. Dri- I drove up and California. back. California. Pittsburgh, California. Drove up and back on Friday and then drove up on Saturday and back on Sunday. Oh, and Macy decided to lock the keys in the trunk. Oh. So I discovered OnStar. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Which yeah. My ne- I called my nephew up because he, he doesn't live far. And he was like, can you come pop my door open? And he was like, sure, oh, let me look oh, to see. OnStar. And then he called me back and he was like, you have OnStar because you have a GM car. Because I have a... Um, a hybrid, which I love my Volt. Anyway, so God bless OnStar. Called them up. They're like, well, you don't have an account, but we'll do a courtesy open. Otherwise, I would have been stuck for hours. It, it just, anyway. Anyway, so I haven't done that much knitting because I've been busy with dance Driving. competition. But I pulled this out of my um, cabinet. My Well, that's what you do. Armor. I mean, I, yeah. I knitted this years well, ago. Well, the reason why I pulled it out was because I had a woman stop me at stitches and asked me what was the pattern and I couldn't remember for the life of me because I, my brain is going anyway so I just said oh let me do this because you know if on the very outside chance she's watching I can tell her the pattern name is lichen and moss she's one of the three people <laughs> no we have 102 <laughs> and I haven't paid any of them anyway so it's lichen and moss and it was made out of um anzula cricket and it is, I will never forget, you told me about how you have your, like, happy little nighttime shawl. <laughs> this is my happy nighttime and daytime shawl. I wear this at night when I kind of get a little chilly around my shoulders. So if you want to look a little closer at the stitch Yeah, pattern. that's beautiful. I made it a Very little pretty. bigger. Okay, so the funny thing was is I had aspirations of making this really big, because you know me and my big shawls. Mm-hmm. Making this really big shawl. But then when I realized that I was going to have to do a lot of cabling, the bigger it got, the more cabling I was going to have to turn it to a smaller shawl. But I did, I did make it bigger than it was supposed to be. And I just love it. And I think it's worn really, really well. Couldn't tell you what the colorway is. Um, but I do know it's Anzula Cricket. Um, and I just, oh, I just love the shawl. It just, it makes me happy. It makes me feel comfy, yeah, cozy. Yeah, super Cozy. Um, yeah, it's just and it's, it's a great. pretty neutral so, green, which is it is. It's I'm a nice sure neutral that green. Is going to come out on the podcast, but it's a, it's a green, but it's a sort of mm-hmm. soft grayish green. I was looking for the so it's a good neutral color pattern, which I pulled up and can't find now that I pulled it up. But so. it's the caress it my soul pattern. No, it's the lichen and moss. Oh, I didn't actually sorry. put it on there. No, that's okay. So it's this one. Who's that by? Is it gonna? Um, it's by yeah. Sue Lansby. So Beautiful. let's see if it, if I can. We'll link it in the show notes. Yeah, we'll link That's it in the show say, notes. That's what they say, right? <laughs> Our editor will link it in the show well, notes. Well, and now we have like a group. Cool. And we've already had two people join us on our group. No It's way. only been like no way an hour and a half, two hours. Oh, way. I just <laughs> love. <laughs> and the writer's like. <laughs> Email was, are you sure you wanted to join our group? No, I would say like thank you so much. I know, like, we want a little I community, know. and that's that's awesome. It was really that's sweet. That's really sweet. So, that's really kind. Anyway. So anyway, so like it and shawl, like it and shawl, like it and moss, right? Yeah, yeah, shawl. that's beautiful. Anyway, so okay, okay, that's what Next. you're wearing. That's what I'm wearing. So what I finished. Funny story. <laughs> so I wrote the show notes. <laughs> While I was at work, so work people, mm, you didn't hear this. So right before I came and I talked about what I finished and then I left them at work. So I have nothing to show. But what I finished was the socks that I showed on the first podcast. Their vanilla is the new black socks. I'm really irritated that I, that I forgot them. Um, They're for my daughter, Catherine, and they're in the the gauge dye works yarn didn't you show it last time i did but you know every so here's the pattern thank you you. it's a pattern by vanessa fletcher it has a really cool heel that my family seems to like and it doesn't interrupt the stripe pattern and it's self-striping yarn so this was self-striping yarn gauge dye works in the white lights colorway and it's on my i have a project page for it so um, very popular pattern. I knit them two at a time. 
cuff down, which vanilla is the new black is cuff down. I knit them two at a time on a size one, 2.25 needle Addy Turbo. That's my kind of go-to sock needle. And yeah, nothing remarkable. They were fun to knit and... Well, that's the thing I love about them is that they're yeah. easy and fun. Because I'm working on them now with um, that yarn that we bought two years ago at Stitches that is the gradient. Oh, it's the pink gradient ago already. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. there's a moth in here. Sorry. That's okay. Go away. It likes Nature. you. It likes you. It gets the Natural anyway. History Museum about me. <laughs> and you want to stick a pin in it and bring it with you? <laughs> Look, I brought you a moth. Anyway. Um, so, yes, no, I like that pattern because mm. I had the hardest time with heel turns yeah. and short rows yeah. just because. Only until recently am I able to sit and concentrate on the heel. No, seriously, it needs a that. concentration. Yeah. yeah. So then, I like that yeah. one because you could put it down and walk away for like yep. a couple of weeks, which yep. I've done with And it's a, one. a good, easy fit. Both my husband, Gary, mm -hmm. and my daughter, Catherine, like the fit. So Have they had any problem with it wearing? Nope. Oh, that's good. And, and Gary wears them to work with shoes, you know, like not just around the house. Versus flip-flops? <laughs> versus <laughs> Versus just around the house. That would be cute. Jesus shoes? <laughs> that would be cute. Um, we should get him some of those see-through clocks. <laughs> right? Yeah, he'd love that. See-through, see-through Chuck. <gasps> that would be Chuck. hysterical. No, do you remember the those see-through? No, but they had the see-through clogs for people that had knitted their own socks and wanted to show them off. Don't you remember awesome. that in Stitches? I need those. No, I don't. They had them in Stitches like three or four years ago. See through clogs. Tonics. I don't know. You what happened know, to me. it was. I think it was before we started knitting socks, and we were both like, huh? "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." So now we get it. Yeah, now I'm a now total sock convert. Yeah, right? totally. Yeah. Now we've drank the Kool Aid. It's true. So. First year girls, it's your fault. Yeah. Not yes. For you. It's, you know, three <laughs> we love that. that are listening. <laughs> um, so. Okay, your turn. Okay, my turn. All right. What am I? Um, okay, so let me talk about this one next. Okay, so my youngest daughter's English teacher's girlfriend is pregnant. Okay. Got it? Okay. She is due in June. And so I, so my husband's retired Navy. And I remember years ago when we were first married um, and he was stationed in Florida, uh, one of the gals got pregnant. We had a baby shower. And someone was so sweet, they crocheted her a baby blanket. I just was so touched by that. that somebody would take their time seriously to make something mm -hmm. that that to me was just so so kind so generous so thoughtful and that was an heirloom mm -hmm. so not being a crocheter knitting taking slightly longer than crocheting um I tried to think what what would be something I would like to make for people because mm -hmm. I was in that stage of my life where people were starting to have babies and stuff so, I had made for, I think my sister, I can't remember, somebody before that, I had made her a few of these. And then after that, I just decided this was going to be like my standard baby gift. It's the Ann Norling baby hat. Oh, that's a classic, and yeah. And I literally made this in, I started it two nights ago. Oh, that's so and sweet. And I finished it today. Yay. So... And the beautiful thing was, is I made it out of, this is bamboo, so it's really soft um, and a little drapey. Um, so, but, you know, like, mom can, like, totally make it, you know, yeah. totally easy wash, you know. Um, probably toss it in some cool water, not that it's going to get that dirty. Um, and then I had scrap green yarn, and that was it. It's darling. So, yeah. well, you know, so I had made, and I just had to I had made one for each of my girls. So that's my Aww. oldest one. That's Lucy in her peach hat. Oh my gosh. That does not so look like Lucy. that's Lucy. So, um, and Lucy's 20. 20? Yeah. 20. Anyway. Um, so we're just going to put her right there so Aww. she can watch us while we talk. Precious. Anyway. So, um, hopefully Lucy watches. Does she watch? Did she watch? I think she viewed so that we would get an extra hit. So, <laughs> Like, oh. Okay, Lucy, shout out. I love you. You know I love you. Now you have you. to watch longer yeah. so that you can see your, your, your photograph. Anyway, who the, ye who loves to take Instagram photos. Anyway, of yourself. Um, so, my point is, is that 
number one, you can make something for people that's easy and that they'll really enjoy. This is, I always tell people, this is the hat that you bring to the hospital because those hats that they give you at the hospital are ugly and this is cute. Um, number two, for those of you that are new knitters, I love this project. I used to teach Navy wives how to knit and this is a project I would teach them hmm. because you're knitting in the round, which is a, a skill um, and you can teach magic loop or, you know, there's many ways you can teach it. Number two, you're knitting, you're knitting the whole time. So you're really working on your, on your gauge and on your consistency. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you learn how to do knit two together. You learn how to pick up another color. Yeah. I, had, um, I think it's a great first project. Yeah. And then you're, you're done and it's something you're going to be able to either give away or use or put in a hope chest. Like I get so frustrated when people are like, Oh, I knit a scarf. I'm sorry, we live in Monterey. We don't wear scarves that often. But anyway. <laughs> Unless you're me and always cold. No, but scarves. I mean, you wear shawls. You wear... It's to keep warm. Do you wear scarves, really? I wear whatever to keep my neck to warm. Keep your like, neck I have warm. one in the car. Okay. I'll yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just not... Normal. I'm a shawl person. But anyway, my point is, is that it's a really great... Like, you want to... Do something that you're going to be done kind of quickly and be able to work yeah. on a couple different skills. No, agreed. Agreed. And it doesn't take a lot of yarn. And it doesn't have to be expensive yarn. So, anyway. Um, and cool. so, wait, I just wanted to show. Because this was the um, the Kids Fruit Cap by Ann Norling. So, that's... Oh, I just really don't like the fact that it I don't does know. That. It's hard to see how I think it's because it's it. the iPad. So, yeah. oh, wait. Let me see if I can Make pull it. up a... Can, yeah, can you make it? Here's like a, a bigger... strawberry. You can do strawberries. I like saying that. Right, and, and in your New Jersey accent, it's, it's a strawberry. Strawberries. <laughs> strawberries. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, and here it is on a kid. Cute. Oh, wow. Well. Gosh, Very it's really cute. blown out. Maybe Gary will be able to wave his magic wand over that. Anyway, yeah. so that's my other. So that's for Cece's English teacher whose baby's due beginning of June. Cute. So, anyway. Okay, what am I working yeah. on? Ten bazillion things. So I don't know how we want to do. I, I kind of had like just go. Okay, so um, the I, first I'm sorry, thing I have is, to keep munching because otherwise I'm going to be loopy by the time. Is my big love sweater by Anka Strick? It didn't get a whole lot of love, even though it's big love. It mm -hmm. didn't get a whole lot of love from me. Um, over the last couple of weeks since our first podcast this is the big love you sweater further. i did get further and and the only thing now it's at 10 and a half inches from the the armhole mm -hmm. so it's just waiting for the ribbing and the reason why i didn't start the ribbing mm -hmm. to be perfectly honest mm -hmm. is because lo and behold i need to wind a new skein of shibui silk cloud oh not that hard look at you you got right up to the end i did Dang. i did not that hard mm -mm. I have the skein. It's not that hard. So you have Gary It's for. just that he Gary's doesn't to do, do that. it anymore. And the slacker. So <laughs> uh, he only edits the podcast and makes me project bags, but he's a slacker. So we love him anyway. Yeah. So I just um, have been lazy. No, work's you're been, not lazy. No, work's been crazy. No, work's and been crazy. by the time I get home, and I, you finish your like, socks that you didn't bring. Yeah. <laughs> but by the time I get home, I just mm. like, mm, no, mm -hmm. I can't handle it. The last couple of weeks has been crazy. Work has been crazy. So this is the texture pattern. Um, and it's, it's very pretty. The other issue is, is it's been, it got kind of warm for a couple of days here. I was just going to say. And I did not want this on my lap no. at night. Like I just couldn't deal with mm -mm. it. I just needed to do a little self-care and think, what do I really want to knit? Mm -hmm. So, so that's where I'm at with that. It's, it's a fun project. So um, what were you knitting if you weren't knitting that? Well, do you really want to know? Cause I really it's a lot know. of, it's a long, I it's a long, what I want, what I really, 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 really want to know. know. Okay. So I worked on my, um, my hoarfrost shawl, mm -hmm. which I'm sorry, but Hoar frost. frost. Like, it's really? Because, no, but there's, it's really a thing. It's beautiful. Hoar frost. It's beautiful. We don't, we live in California. We have no frost. <laughs> no. But no, but I wanted a hoar who, frost. I wanted to name it. H-O-A-R. I don't know, I know who but who it. named it? Like, I don't know, but it's, it's gorgeous frost. <laughs> no, it's gorgeous. Really? H 
H O A R. The people yeah, in, the people in Wisconsin <laughs> right now are are laughing at us. You realize that, right? Like ha ha ha. Okay, well, message us with some photos of hoarfrost. I mean, hoarfrost. Seriously, like, hoarfrost. So this is my hoarfrost shawl, which I have to say, uh, is by Andrea Mowry. It's pretty, and it's my first Andrea Mowry pattern. Oh um, wow, it's got a lot of. Yeah. Stretch. What 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 size needle are you doing this on? It's a size seven needle. It's Miss Bab Xiaoza in the yonder colorway purchased several years ago at Stitches West. And then um, so pretty Jeanette. look at this cute little charm. Look at this cute little charm. Oh it's, it's blueberry pie. Yeah, it's blueberry so pie. Cute. So So cute. Yeah. So this is where I was last podcast. So I've actually made progress. I love the way your yarn See? smells. But you know what? Okay, I've so made progress. you have. So wait a minute. So this is Yowza. It's Yowza. And this is Yowza. C. What? I mean, like, so different. So different. This based is based on like the yeah the needle this size. Is they're both size seven, but this is a tighter. Are they both size seven? Yeah. No. And this is you know both size seven, and this is looser. Um, I'm almost ready to start the lace portion of this shawl. Wow. So, yeah, this is fun to knit. It's not, I, I can't memorize the stitch pattern, though, so I have to pay attention to the stitch pattern. So, at one point, I had no, well, I'll talk about that later, but I had no, you know, mindless knitting. But I love my little stitch marker. It's by Cake, Cakery Bakery Charms on Etsy. And uh, she's in Nova Scotia, Canada. And so I ordered this from her and I That's ordered adorable. a different pie. So the reason why pie is because I like to make pie. And my husband last year for his birthday said, you know, I don't really need anything. But I, what I really like is a pie a month. So for a really? solid year, I made a pie a month. Aww. You know, crust and all. Cute. But there's only two of us. Yeah. The only, there's only two of well, us. Our kids don't live at home little, anymore. And you can freeze them. No, I didn't do that. That's that's that would have been the smart way. Oh. No, I made a whole pie for the two of us. That's so we ate a lot of pie. It was pie breakfast the... dessert. It was yeah. it was whatever we wanted it to be. We ate a lot of pie. He asked for this again this year and mm, I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. So wait a minute, it's H O A R H O A R one word. Hoarfrost. Oh. Hoarfrost. You should know this. You're from New Jersey. Didn't you have hoarfrost? No, honey. In Jersey, we just got frost. <laughs> oh, my God. Jack Frost. That's what we got. No, you got hoar... no. hoarfrost. Hoarfrost is a thing, and I think it's really pretty. So, oh, and I should say that this is in... <laughs> my husband made me a project bag Aww. with a handle. So, how cute is that? What did he make that? Oh, that couple weeks ago. And he lined it and everything. Yeah, lined it. So cute. I like light lining so I can see in there. So I always tell him, light lining, light lining, you know, no black lining. Although it's pretty, but, you know. Okay, so, wait, I'm going to show. So that's the... Poor frost show. Poor frost. Do you want to talk now? Because I still have more, but, like, we could trade off. I don't have to. It's up to you. No, you, you go. I only have one of their, um, one work in progress. So I started my, I talked about it the last podcast, my V-neck. Do you think we have a thing for green? I'm no. worried about, no, look at this. I'm worried about our green I know, I mean, addiction. Oh, but this is such a pretty green. It is, but they all, I mean, I aren't don't, they it all? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> No, because my sweater that I did last week was black. That I showed last week was black. Yeah, I think black. Cool. And then I, oh, I bought blue. I'm so excited. All right, I'll tell wow, you about that in a you bit. you really ventured out. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I'm so excited. Okay. So this oh, is my. Oh, that's beautiful. Hohe Locatelli. Oh, what is Understated V-neck. Um, oh, it's like the V-neck boxy. Boxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, In the DK, so her cool. brand new pattern. Oh, that's beautiful. So I haven't gotten to the point yet where I joined the V on the oh, bottom. Oh, that's so fascinating to me that you don't... You you, you keep increasing, and then yeah. after you're done increasing, then you join then you and join continue the to talk and, and look at the difference. Well, okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so maybe don't look at the difference. No, now. it's okay. No, it's beautiful. So I'm I'm going a little crazy because I love I this love is gorgeous. I love the yarn. Okay. 
Okay, love the yarn. It's Magpie Swanky DK. Love, love, love the yarn. Picked it up at Stitches. It's so lovely. It's uh, it is. 80% merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Yeah, this and is And I love because it'll have memory. Yeah. You know? I love the yarn. It's so comfy, drapey. Cozy so sweater. fabulous. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that's making me nuts. It's the first time I've done a sweater in the round, and you know, you have to change skeins. Oh, oh, but helical knitting. I know, but the problem is, is that I haven't started doing it in the round yet. Oh. Well, then don't worry. Well, yeah. It's so that's my underarm. So that's oh, my, that's not bad. That's my underarm. No. I don't like the way. I'm so, oh no, I'll show you. We'll just wait. This like, is it why gets I need worse. you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is why we need a community. No, I wouldn't worry I don't, about. I was like, oh, I was getting so frustrated. Personally, I, like, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have to keep my arms down all the time. yet. I would wait until you get. You to know what? The, I got to a point. I was like. Not alternating anymore. Yeah, I'm I, done I would because wait. I just didn't like the way that, and it was getting too far down the sweater. I thought, okay, yeah. my underarm can hide that much, but after that, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I, I would, stopped. I would, I would stop too. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't worry about it until you're joined in the round, and then you can yeah. do the helical knitting. Okay, because that that's out. that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's okay. going to. Oh gonna be so pretty <gasps> i'm I love so it. excited i I'm love it so I'm, I'm like i'm so excited so hopefully for you. i will have it done by the next podcast oh right because i've been oh right no i've been and she I've is been a fast monogamous. Knitter, like, no i'm not i've been I'm monogamous. Not monogamous you know what i was knitting As a knitter, I, mean. I, I was knitting at the um at the dance competition but I'm so tired. I literally, I mean, you know me. I don't just sit and watch anything. No, dance, I, it makes me crazy. Even TV, at work. anything. But I was just, I literally, my tongue was hanging out. You know, hanging out, like, just, I was exhausted. So, I didn't get as far as I would have liked to. Oh, it's gorgeous. But it's I'm, gorgeous. I'm like, happy I think, with it. Yeah, you should be thrilled with it. It's so, beautiful. And yeah. I love the color. The colorway is siren song and you know what and it's swanky dk by magpie fibers and i was so remember we went there and the woman was like okay they, we don't we have <laughs> what you saying be nice <laughs> i'm just saying be nice no no remember the woman said we didn't they didn't have yeah money. but yeah they didn't <laughs> what what are you saying? <laughs> um, no, she said that this was one of their pop most popular colors, oh. and that's why. Okay, you can You're not say just that. me. What I dare is going to put, like, a little yarn thing over my mouth, as I swear. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, bleep me with a yarn. Bleep you. Beep. Anyway, no, you know no, what? No, it's gorgeous. So, it's yeah, gorgeous. no, I love the yarn. This is my um, second project in a in two years with their How yarn. lucky are you? I'm thrilled. I mean, seriously, thrilled. like, how lucky are you totally that you lucky. can That I can, can we can go that. to Stitches and get all, yeah. yes, yeah, no, totally. Seriously. And the, um, the other thing that I find interesting with their yarn is they don't, they don't do a, um, they don't give you gauge. And the reason why they don't give you gauge is because they say you can knit it on, you know, like a teeny tiny needle or a big needle and depend like you get all different kinds of beautiful fabric so it's a little frustrating when you're buying the yarn and you're trying to figure out well, what is the gauge of this dk because some i don't know i kind of feel like dk's have got a range and anyway um that being said i bought two different projects worth of yarns three three because i forgot about the first year that i bought magpie it was a fingering weight and i'm not unhappy with any of them Love all of them. So, and anyway. what do you? What kind of needles are you using? Because I see that you have wooden needles, right? Uh, yeah, I'm using. You're better with names than I am. Knitter's Pride Dreams. Those. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm knitting. Yes, and they're the um, interchangeables. What size? Is that? Size six. Okay. So cool. And I just bought. I just treated myself to my second set of signature needle arts. They just came in the middle. Size. Oh, you didn't tell me. You, you're stepping out. You didn't tell me. Well, it's my second. Yeah, and I got the long ones because I got the short ones the last time. And they said that. So apparently, the way I knit, they unwind because now they're all interchangeable in signature. Mm. And so I was able to kind of really tighten them down. And I was getting tempted to use some glue, but I didn't. Um, so I bought the longer stems, which on pe with people like me that 
untwist them mm -hmm, as we knit, mm -hmm. um, the longer stems are supposed to be better. So I just got them in the mail. I, I actually just used them magic loop on the hat. And, and that might need a, a more explanation later for people because I learned mm -hmm. along the way, like with the signature needles, that you, the way you knit, you were actually making them come apart. Yes. And so that was news to me yes. at Stitches. Yeah, yeah. And so I, if the woman watched how I knitted, and she said, I was just unwinding them, naturally unwinding them as I was knitting. So she suggested the longer stem. I'm, I was able to tighten down the ones that I have. Although I think I was looking at the ones, I think they're fours that I have. Mm. And I was looking at the, the, the bit that goes into the needle, into the join, Still looks a little short to mm. me compared to the new ones that I just mm -hmm. got. So I don't know, maybe they fixed the problem. But anyway, so now I've got the longer stock. And well, I think so many factors go into it: knitting style, yarn, mm -hmm. needles. It all yes. has to kind of click, That's true. you know. And and I generally prefer metal needles now, yeah. but I didn't always. Sometimes no. and and sometimes I like wooden needles, right. and so it it depends on the yarn. And my Does. knitting style has changed over the years too, so. And I I actually prefer wooden needles, um, and I'm surprised that I like the signature needle. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's because it's surgical steel, because the nickel needles, mm -hmm. like they, Addies. Like Addies, mm -hmm. I, they, so I had somebody explain this to me a long time ago, that the nickel kind of steal the heat out of your hand. So for those of you that have arthritis or, you know, just knit a lot, if you find that your hands are hurting, that you're getting a little sore after knitting for a while, try switching to either surgical steel or wood. That was huge for me. It Because I had been knitting with metal. Oh, where the other one is um, the brass, the... Um, oh, which the no, lace needles tend to yeah, be. Yeah, which I don't know anyone who uses those anymore. Like that's yeah. kind of if it's like a fingering weight and it's a really fine stitch or something, or if lace it's the, needles. Yeah, uh -huh. the um, what's that other yarn you're using? Other yarn. You're one. holding it double down there. You oh, Shibui silk cloud. Yeah, silk cloud. If you're using something like that, you know, I like the brass. I don't think those. I said that about my big love sweater, did I? Mm. That it was Shibui Silk Cloud and Marisol size. Oh, well, too okay. late. Anyway. It's in the show notes. Show notes. Show, show notes. notes. So, anyway. Anyway. So, that's that. That's beautiful. Weird. I love that color. Thank that's you. Like I'm my so... color. So, let's that's see. What so else good. got my attention? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, I needed a car knitting project because I was going up to San Francisco. You're not knitting in the traffic, are you? <laughs> Oh, God, no. Car knitting project? <laughs> no, but I was with some friends, and, and I mm -hmm. wasn't driving, thankfully. And shout out to Alana for driving. And shout mm -hmm. out to Alana for learning how to knit. You better show me a finished product project. Uh-oh. I'm just she saying. She Who's, wants to... She work with you? Yes, and she's a friend. And she, she said, I need a shout out. I watched your whole podcast, and I need a shout out. So shout out to you. Mm. But... You should have done it at the end, so she watches the whole podcast. <laughs> oh, no, she's got to watch the middle. I'm making her. Right. So I needed, none of my projects were at a point where I could just mindlessly knit oh, yeah. and be in the car Don't with other people. Knitting. And so I started my, um, so cute, my Rose City Rollers by oh, Mara Catherine those. Briner. Mm -hmm. And this was a stranded dye works, uh, what's she calling it? Stranded roller derby along or something like that. Knit mm -hmm. along, which I don't do mm -hmm. many knit alongs, but this is in the um, hedgehog fibers in the monarch colorway. And the reason I bought this at Simply Socks out of Indiana years ago, and I remember it's it's beautiful yarn. And I remember um, getting like I ordered it one day and got it in two days from Indiana it's to California. I mean, crazy. But right? you're missing a toe. Well, because I did cuff down. This is ow. This is the the cuff. I'm not used to seeing it roll though. Yeah, it's an their ankle socks. Oh, their ankle socks. Rose City Rollers are ankle socks, so they're just gonna fit like this. And mm -hmm. I wear these around the house a I lot. Love, and love, so love the colors. I do so too. Cute. And so I bought it because it's the colorway is called Monarch. And we live in an area where Western monarchs overwinter, and my job is a lot about monarch mm -hmm. butterflies. And our little yarn shop is monarch, uh, so, monarch knitting. Shout so, out to Anne. 
so I, um, yeah, I, I bought this because it was the Monarch colorway. Interestingly, Monarchs aren't really this color. Mm -mm. I mean, I see, see them in person, up close right. and personal, and they aren't, but that's okay. But that's okay. It's called Monarch, and I bought it so uh, pretty. from Simply Socks for that reason, and so... Well, you Monarchs are a little orange. They're orange. They're definitely well, orange. They're like, definitely this orange. Yeah, there's orange in there. They're orange and black. Yeah. Um, and this year, Monarchs, Western Monarchs, Monarchs west of the Rocky Mountains had a rough year. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping they'll rebound a little bit this year. So but... let's do a plug for Monarchs who can plant milkweed in their garden. How, no. you, you, need, you need milkweed, yes, but, but only specific live, people. Yes, but you need to live within, you know, 10 miles away from an overwintering site. So how would someone find out whether or not they live? Well, if in you're in the... West of the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> uh -huh. If you if you're east of the Rocky Mountains, it's easy because monarchs overwinter in Mexico. So you're 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 good unless you live in Michoacan, Mexico. I think it's Michoacan. So I, if you live east of the Rocky Mountains, you can plant milkweed. milkweed. Anyway. Yeah. Yes, but oh. if you're western, okay. west and western monarchs, then you need to be ten to fifteen miles from an overwintering site. So I could so from the coast. Yeah, I you're couldn't. a little close. I'm too close because I'm in Monterey and you're a little close. They winter in PG. Right. And so. Monterey actually. And can they go to can they go to the oh they do. And Santa Cruz oh. and San Luis can, and can, all down the coast. Oh, okay. Can people go to a website and see if they live? Um yes. They could go to Monarch Joint Venture. She's really putting me on the spot here. Xerxes I'm Society. To say monarchs. <laughs> Thank you. Xerxes Society um is great with Western and Eastern monarchs. Monarch Joint Venture is more about Eastern, but I could be wrong about that. Our website also has some information. So anyway, what website is that? That would be pgmuseum.org. Yeah, See, now there you're you making go. me talk about my real okay, life. Okay, we're not going to talk about that anymore. But you know what yeah, I've seen that's a lot real of life. lately is the painted ladies. Painted ladies <gasps> are having a year. Painted ladies are. Painted like ladies these. said no monarchs. Party! Yeah, <laughs> we, we got it. Painted ladies look like miniature monarchs, and they are like all over the place because of the wildflower bloom. And I mean, they're just and they're really cute. So. Mm -hmm. We had a little B-roll footage at the beginning of our... Yes, we did. Yes, of a but that was a lady. Well, that was a painted no, lady. No, it was a painted lady. You yeah, need to have monarch. words with Gary. He needs to put some monarchs in there next time. Oh, he's going to have to try. I mean, there were... Now, you know what? There were, Maybe there now. Were, in all of put, California, like, there were less than 30,000 for the whole winter. Like, that's crazy. Well, maybe now he could put, like, like a map of where people can plant their milkweed. I think B maybe he could send them to Xerxes Society. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's fine, too. But, um, but you never know, I, Gary's Should I keep good. going on my... Yeah, keep going. Because I had a cast-on yeah. party Because all house. I have is um, Q after this, what I'm going to... Okay, so the other I'm thing I worked on... Oh, yeah. Oh, is being housed in a bag made by my husband, which he waxed the fabric... Like, how oh my cool gosh! Is that? <gasps> yeah. So, is this in case you spill your wine? <laughs> right? It's an awesome bag. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love awesome it. Bag. It looks very and navy ish. I love the bag because Look it fits so many. And the inside, even though I said I like light insides, oh I just gosh. like this one matched so perfectly that I couldn't help it, right? So darn cute. So, um, yeah, he waxed this fabric and he made me this bag, which I is really cool. I know what you're going to cool. show. I've been dying and to so, see this. Well, this is, this is crazy because. I started this a long time ago, and it's just my fingering weight scraps I keep adding to. So, you know, some people do a, um, a cozy memories blanket. And I, I wasn't feeling the cozy memories blanket, but I, I really have a lot of... That's showing up really dark. Maybe you could put it... We're losing some light here. So... Um, so this is so I wasn't feeling the cozy memories. Yeah. So these are the <laughs> the interior um, I oh use. Gosh, so cute. Bears rainbow blanket, I believe, mm -hmm. from Pearl Soho, and we'll link it in the show notes. But so it's joined. So all of them have this off. I chose off white. Mm. Could be any color. Off white edging. So I don't even really crochet. I mean, I learned to crochet when I was a little kid. So this is just one of the the squares. I've got about so cute. maybe 110 squares done now. I started it a little over a How year many ago. Do you need? Uh, to be a big size, I think I need. Let me see if I can get the light. Nah. Um. Ah. 
I think 170, something like that. So I worked on some more squares with my fingering like, weight. Like 100 scraps. And if any of so you want to trade fingering weight scraps, message me on Ravelry or Instagram. Like, I would love to trade scraps because I have so many scraps. Mm -hmm. I've bought a lot of mini skeins and then. I've used every fingering weight scrap I own. So is your goal to have a different square? Yes. Like I not to not have a... repeated at all. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then... Absolutely to have a different... How much yarn does one of these take? I don't know. I haven't weighed it. I need to weigh it. Not that much. Oh, wait. No, I don't have my, yeah, my scale Yeah, not here. that much. But, you know, but I, mean, I like, kind of just wanted a rainbow. Like if I somebody wants to just wind off some yarn... I'm 20, 20 grams, 10 grams. I don't know, but like we can, we can exchange 20 yeah. gram midi, mini, you know what I'm saying? 10 grams. Yeah. Cause I mean like everybody has, you know, hello, I have all of my, yeah. you know, so some of these I purchased, but honestly the majority is just scraps of stuff. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. I think I have some invested in these squares. Someplace. Yeah, probably so. somewhere. So, so cute. eventually I'll make a whole blanket, but it's funny because I don't even really crochet, but it's been fun to do. It's really kind of relaxing. Really cute. Well, I'm hoping to eventually get mine started, but my problem is I don't knit in any one, well, fingering. I knit a lot of fingering weight, but that's shawls. Now if I'm doing sweaters and I'm doing fingering, I'm like, oh, But fingering, I mean, that's what all of this is, is fingering. And yeah, but the, that's more because you do socks. I don't and do then the off-white um, border is, I realize I just said um a lot. Um, the off-white border is a knit picks yarn. And then it's because perfect. I don't nearly have enough things on the needles, oh, no. I just, I know, right? I decided who doesn't need another pair of wool socks as we're approaching the warm weather where I won't wear the wool socks. Well, wool's good in warm weather too. It, it absorbs. Yeah. Oh, you're doing toe up. Toe up. I, yeah. Okay, so wait a second. That's my preferred. I want to go back up. to the monarch color. Okay, two at a time. You didn't do up. two at a time on the monarch. Nope. Why I'll not? explain why. Okay. And this is these are signature needles, size one, two point two five, and the um, the yarn is Knit Circus oh. Greatest of Ease, and this was a gift from my knitting Fun. niece Amy, and they're out of Madison, Wisconsin. We love Amy. Yes, we do, and. Oh, uh, <laughs> and uh, this is in the Just Beat It colorway. B E T. Beat Beat. beat like B E A T? B E T. B E T. B E T. B E T. Yep. B E E T. Yep. B E E T. Beat It. That's cute because yeah, I can cute. see like the beat yeah. and then like as it's getting lighter towards yeah. the top and then the stem yeah. and everything. That's really cute. So because I just didn't have enough to do, I needed oh, that another. Good. Another project. So it's her, and I didn't so say, cute. I'm sorry, the, the Hermione's Everyday Socks by Erica Luter. I don't know, so but we're cute. losing light, so I don't know how much detail you can see. Were they already wound? Yes. They come wound and they come two separate. Yeah. Greatest of ease is the sock. Yeah, and so she cute. gave me that gift a couple of years ago, and so I finally cast them on, which is awesome. And so that's all I've been knitting on. Like, I, I have been polyamorous and not at all monogamous i've been pretty monogamous i've been working on just that v-necks i really want to wear it so yeah anyway. it's gorgeous all right my turn your turn i'm gonna I talk about a long term so i just came up with some well okay so i bought yarn i'm so excited you bought more yarn i bought yarn from plucky because plucky had an update and i bought i can't remember the name of the color but it's like a really nice deep blue oh i'm so you have to show us when it comes. Anyway, yes, for sure. Just because I've seen a couple patterns in dark blue, navy blue, and I kind of feel like navy blue is like a gray or a black. It yeah. Kind of goes with everything. Yeah. Since I don't wear much gray anymore, I'm yeah. leaning toward navy. And I was really, really hemming and hawing about buying it because it's like, oh, I want to knit a sweater, but I don't know, I really want to knit a fingering sweater. Again. Yeah. Well, no, I haven't knit a fingering sweater in ages. I've been knitting fingering it's a lot. shawls. The, the sweater that I just knit. That's the first sweater I've knit in like five years. Wow. So anyway, so I found this by, I think her her name is pronounced Eri, E-R-I, and it's called Coco, K-O-K-O. -O. Oh my goodness. It just sucks that it's like. What's it look like? Rolling out. Yeah. You can kind of see it. 
Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. What, how is that different from a boxy? Uh, let's turn down there. It, it's kind of, it's like a boxy, but it's, um, it's just, let's see if I turn down. The, ah, score. Sorry. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's a long sleeve. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's got some nice positive ease to it. Um, and I just, I really liked the way, I just thought it looked like a classic piece, like something that I can really wear comfortably. Um, so anyway, so that's what my new yarn is. So it's a raglan. For. Yeah. And so it's a top down. that's different than a boxy, right? Boxy's I, I, think raglan. The boxing, I think the boxies are raglan too, because I, I think they're know. top I've down too. They are. So this is top down, but set right. in. Right. I don't know so, about boxy. But I just, I mean, I just thought it it's was beautiful. just a really nice, just comfortable looking sweater. So is that your future knitting? That's my future knitting. So I'm probably not going to see the yarn for like another month. Mm -hmm. um, but I just loved that. Um, and again, it's E-R-I is the name of the designer. Ari, and it's Coco, K-O-K-O. -O. Um, I really, I found her online and I really like yeah, her stuff. She's, an, yeah. I think she's an Asian designer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the aesthetic is nice. Yeah, she had another piece that I really liked that, oh, that looks like a lot of fun to knit because it's, it's a heavyweight, it's a DK. Look at this one. This looks so cool. Let me turn the light down. This just looks so comfortable. So squishy. Look at that. Yeah. All ribbing. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Doesn't that just, I mean, don't you just want to crawl into that? And you know what? We're so kind of lucky because in Monterey, it can get in the middle of summer. It could be like, oh, yeah, I need it's something true. like that. We actually wear our knitwear all, I, I do. I shouldn't speak for you, but I wear it no, all I year so. long. I mean, oh, yeah. I kind of left with my scarves a lot. July is I not necessarily that. warm here. No. So. no, especially when the fog rolls in. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. and then the other nice thing is just to cuddle up by the fire pit. Yeah. Only thing is then it gets smoky and you have to wash it, so that's not yeah. fun. So anyway, so I really, that's also an airy sweater. So love her designs. Mm -hmm. Really Very clean, mm -hmm. you know, not, and lots of positive ease for those mm -hmm. of us that don't have much of a waist. Um, so, and top down. So that's probably, that might be my next one. Oh, cool. After I do the, air, the, um. Now, can you have two sweaters on the needles at one time, or does that make you crazy? I haven't had sweaters on the needles in years, so, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I have to figure out what yarn I would knit that out of. I'd really, actually, what I need to do is go online and look at the Magpie DK, um, for me, having those pullovers, you know, I'm so sensitive to how the yarn feels because it mm. makes me itch and then I don't want to wear it. So it has to be the right yarn. So I don't know. I'm going to be in search of yarn for me. So, I can have two so sweaters if they're very different. If they're one is more, you know, detailed and the other one's just plain stockinette. But other than that, I get I get a little nervous and having right, too right. many things on the needles at one time. Well see and all of my projects these days have got to be simple, like stockinette. Yeah. Oh no. Not I hear a you. lot of brain work just yeah. because I don't know when I'm gonna put it down and not get back to it for yeah, weeks. Yeah, I know, I know. You know. So, yeah, anyway. I know. That's why you gotta I, I mean I personally always have to have one project that's mindless and I didn't for a while. And so that was just driving me nuts. I had I had the big love, which wasn't exactly mindless, and then I had cool, what did I have? Do. I don't know. I had all the non mind non mindless. Apparently, my mind is gone, and I can't remember. That's okay, hey, Coco. Sorry, Coco. Um, and then in other future knitting, I am going to fix a sweater that I have done previously. So this is the Puntia sweater hey. by Hohi Locatelli. Ooh. Which is supposed to have lace, um, but I, I stopped that part. So where's it supposed to have? Oh, on the bottom. On the bottom. So this on looks the a, like a lot like the one that I was just saying, the cocoa one. Yeah, yeah. So oh, maybe that's why you came is because I was saying cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> I knit this out of Madeline Tosh in the uh, Madeline Tosh sock in the snake colorway, um, which you can kind of tell that I love green. 
So, mm -hmm. so it's um, good and green. Goes really well with your eyes. So this is the thing. I when I was done with it, I just must have been really tense when I bound off the neck and it's too tight. This is about as, I can barely get my head in. Can you unbind it? And yeah, I'm okay. gonna rework yeah. it in a looser, in a looser needle. Yarn? Yeah, I have okay. plenty of yarn. Then here's the other thing, I was tired of working on it, so I just bound it off and thought, I'm just binding it off. I'm just That's forgetting not bad. about it. It's not bad, I don't love it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, and I kinda knew I wasn't gonna love it at the time, so I left a little tail. I'm gonna um, do a um, knitted ribbing bottom, like I should, and maybe even a split hem. Well, you said it's supposed to have a... I'll like it better. <gasps> do a split hem. Yeah, I'll like it better, but here's the shoulder is kind of a cool little detail. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, it's got like a, yeah, like a little, a little ribbing thingy. Yeah, like a, like a three line. needle bind off kind of line. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. I'm, honestly, I can't remember what I did with it. Um, I really like the color. I, I do too, and I think this will be a great How sweater. How long did that take you? Oh, you know, I, I, with sweaters, my MO is, I'm tired of you, I'm putting you away. Hmm. So, I rarely start and finish a sweater mm. monogamously i i have to put okay, it okay so that's your new tired of it. that's your new my new goal your new goal your new my new goal wait what is it um see yeah my brain's going so um, i called this finished but really i i should oh see new year's you make a resolution resolution okay <laughs> it's my mid-year resolution your podcast resolution so i'm gonna start and finish a sweater yeah. without Putting within, it on yeah, time without out. putting in the time out. So I left. I knew when I finished weeks. it that I might not like this hem. Yeah. So I, I put it. Wait, is that all that you left yourself? Yeah, but I, I yeah. have way more yarn. No, no, no. But I'm saying, is this? I cut it because I wore it. So I cut it shorter and then I just tucked it under because I didn't want oh, this to okay, hang okay, out. Okay. Um, I wore it. It's, yeah. it's quite warm. But I, I want to make it longer. So I'll just. Sure. Take this, take it out, and just out. out and, and yeah, yeah, that's not a big deal. No, not a big deal. I so I just need to do it because it's not really fun. Yeah, right. Yeah, more fun is casting on a new project. But it's project. a beautiful but yarn. But it is and beautiful. Jeanette, your your gauge or consistency is fantastic. Oh, thank you. It I is mean, beautiful. I, uh, my my gauge is still like, my ribbing so. is tight. I realize. You know, that my ribbing and my sleeves are tighter well, then, than my my actual garment. Did you think about switching to bigger needles well, when you do Well, I ribbing? will when I do yeah. the neck. Uh, yeah. You know, instead of, I think the MO on most patterns is to switch to a smaller needle. Most patterns have you suggest for ribbing, switch yeah. to a smaller needle, You're but right, I, I need to remember right. not to not do to. that. Because it doesn't not really to. work for me. Yeah. I get, and then the same with sleeves. The sleeves are not tight, but, and and they'll be they're fine. Now, do you just wear this? Do you have a shirt on underneath? Or I okay? did. I mean, the times the times that I wore it, I did have yeah. a shirt on underneath. But because that's one hundred percent wool. Yeah, it's super wash, I couldn't and wear that. so when I even even though it's super wash, yeah, no, well, no, couldn't. I hit this. So like Angora is like the softest yarn, but I put it anywhere mm -hmm. near me, and I'm itching. Well, I might agree with you there, but um, I don't. I think with Superwash, I, um, I, when I blocked it, I did not stretch it out at all. I wanted it to stay like true to its size. So mm -hmm. I think it, if, when I block it again, after I do the, redo mm -hmm. the hem and the neck, mm -hmm. I'll like stretch it a little bit because right. I want it to be a little bit more cozy. Right, it's a right, sweatshirt, right. kind of cozy sweater. Right. So I'll get to that at some point, but to be honest, I'm also kind of tired of working in green yarn. That's all I do. Green <laughs> yarn. Woohoo! There's a monarch colored sock, you know? I, I don't know what my deal is with green. So I need to break my addiction to green. Maybe oh, there's a, a maybe there's a self help group for me. No. no so that's all I've got for all I've been working on. Mm. I've been not mm. monogamous at all. I don't remember, did I talk about the church mouse yarn? Oh no wait. No, it's a different church mouse pattern. Sorry. They're coming I out. Did about... they come out with new patterns today? Today or tomorrow? They're, they're coming out, out with all like the spring every patterns. other day. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, I like that pattern. I love this simple tee by Church Mouse. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I love it, because, I don't know, I like something that is flexible and 
you know, you can decide to change it or whatever. I yeah, like this I like because that. it can be long sleeve or short sleeve. Yeah, that's my And nice I like the split blue. hem. Yeah. So just love this. And you can do it out of a variety of yarns and yarn weights. Um, I think it said um, it can be done out of Kitzel K's, which means it would be looser and you'd wear a tank top underneath. Cotton, sport, or light DK. And then the other fabulous thing about this is that it can be short sleeve or it can be long sleeve. That's the yeah. one in the kids' so case. So, so what will on. you knit? Um, you knit. We'll knit it. Sorry, or, or, or get it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I like the idea of having a tank top on underneath. It'll probably be long sleeve just because Monterey. We always need something light on. Um, but I don't know. Maybe a cotton. I mean, it... Mm, a cotton blend might be Yeah, nice. cotton blend. It doesn't, you know... I mean, the problem cotton with cotton, it doesn't have... Yeah, nice. yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, um, why did this suddenly turn down so dark? Um, so, I don't know. So, we'll, we'll see. But that's... Right now, I'm working on the V-neck boxy. Um, Anne ordered some yarn for me for the other church mouse one that I talked about last week. The or two simple weeks ago. modern wrapper. Yes, because after looking at the Shibui, um, it was just a little bit too pricey. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so she's, it's a lot. I mean, the wrap, the modern wrapper in that. Yeah, is, is it, a having to work with two yarns held together. Yeah. So she ordered some different yarn for me to try, and then, um, and then this. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this this year. Um, but it's in my... It's still early. It's only the fifth month. I know. I just need more time to knit. I know, right? Well, I am going to be up in San Francisco for three weeks this summer, and I'm not going to have any chores, so I plan on... Wouldn't it be great if I could do a sweater a week? Wouldn't it be great if you could invite me? You can. <laughs> I don't need to invite you. Just come. I mean, I can't... Like, I'm going to be yeah. staying with my nieces, so... In a very small apartment. But... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Come up for the day. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, because my daughter's going to be going to a, an intensive program up there this summer. So I get to stay with her and I'm going to be knitting and something that I never do. I'm going to weed. Good for you. <laughs> so, yes, we have a little human, you. a little, little puppy. Here, yeah, a little four legged like, hello. creature. That's... So, anyway, so that's. So I'm still those on are my, my two cues. My future knitting is still hey, the Leone by Julie Weisenberger, which I talked about last mm. time. Uh, I saw a woman at Stitches West last yes. year in 2018 wearing this, and I think she works for Church Mouse or something. So anyway, yes. I, I did you start it? No, it, it's easy, and I could start it. It's bottom up, but yeah, simple. I just haven't started it yet. So are you I've bringing been... it up again in hopes that it yeah, will inspire Yeah, it's dream knitting. It's, it's future knitting. Dream knitting. I love dream that. Dream knitting. Future knitting. That. Yeah. That's good. So That's in good. other dream knitting news, I'm, <laughs> I'm still trying to work from stash, and I have a big stash of Quince & Co., fingering weight I forget what they call their fingering weight in in just solid black and so I got some um mohair silk blend at stitches west mm -hmm. in February to hold double with that and yes so, that's right yeah Ooh, so cumulus blouse I'm on the cumulus blouse kick Okay. And that's by Petite Knits. And so that's my other dream knitting. So mm -hmm. I don't know which one I'll start first. Because who doesn't need a V-neck black? Here I am black again. <laughs> V-neck black. It's not green. It's not green. Black or green. Those are my colors. But who doesn't need a V-neck black long sleeve? Like in this area, you know, like relatively loosely knit. Like not. So is it going to be the kind of thing you wear a t-shirt under? Yeah. I'd have yeah, to yeah, wear yeah. something under it. Yeah. I can't wait to see that though. Because the. It's simple. The. The mohair that you bought was so pretty. Yeah, very pretty. It's so an pretty. Olan, Olan from Ireland. Mm -hmm. So, so that's yeah, really so nice. I'm excited about that too. I don't know which one I'll start first. I definitely mm -hmm. need to get some things off the needles first, or otherwise I get agita. Right, right, I right, get right. Like, mm, right, right. Too no, many things that. on the needles. I get that. Well, and too many things. I just, you know, it's the investment of yarn too. Right. So. I have, you know, 
And in a way that's easier because if you're working from stash, you can say, well, the investment in yarn isn't so great, right? Because right. if it doesn't work out, you just rip it out and you wash it and it becomes something else. Who goes looking your the investment in like, yarn is not so great, right? Right, right. Well, and I've got, it's all the seven sisters that's up there someplace that I've got to do the, it's a Stephen West pattern. Mm -hmm. we'll Oh yeah, next so time because I have another shawl that's in the in yeah. the mind. I don't think um, I have. Oh no, I do have a shawl on the needles. I've got. We have gadgets and we have gold knitting oh. gold stars. Yes, gadgets. Go. Okay, wait. So we'll move along. So gadgets. Okay, so love this. So I came. Up, I found these when I was working on my sweater, whose name escapes me. The Hanafetic one that we did. I did mm. last podcast. I showed everybody. And I, I think these are the, this is the bomb. So, stitch holder. So, how do you hold um, uh, either sweater in the round stitches, sleeve in the round stitches? How do you get them I onto put a them holder? On, I put them on waist yarn, which is a, to try oh, on. Yeah. That's not a bad, well, okay. Well, it's a pain. So, look at this stitch holder. Is that awesome? That will not fit around my waist. I'm just no, saying. No, well, no. There's another one. There's a longer one though. There's a ye of little faith. There's a longer one. There's one that's like twice as long. Okay, good. And I love this because it's got the needle so that you can get it off and on the needles really easily. And then <laughs> you can knit well. off and on. You can knit off and on. Yeah, nice. And then you can stick it in here to hold it. <laughs> dog's getting her 15 seconds of pain. She's like, oh, there's an elbow. Let me leave my chin there. Um, anyway. <laughs> the nose is moving. Anyway, so love this. So this is the uh, Clover Circular Stitch Holder. I got it on Amazon. Okay. What this... possessed you to find it? Well, I needed something to put my my you sleeve happened, stitches on. Happened to like randomly search. And I just search. searched for stitch holders, and I found this. This is awesome because I was able to try the sweater on mm -hmm. without these funky straight or without the waist yarn. The yeah, work of putting it on waist yarn, which this, is what I usually do. This was just awesome. Cool. Just awesome. So that's my gadget of the week. I love this thing. Let me show everybody one more time. Although it'll be in show notes. So, Amazon. Um, if you can't get it at your little yarn shop, which we always try to, pay, you know, patronize, keep alive. Because, I mean, this this was only a few dollars. Help out your little yarn shop. Store. Shop. Store. Shop. Store. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, so that's my gadget of the week. Yeah. So then so you have... I have no gadgets. You have shout outs, though, or gold I stars. I have or, gold stars. You gotta call to, them like something Monterey ish. Like I know, right? Golden gold butterflies. Gold stars <gasps> sounds too. Golden, butterf golden, golden monarchs. Golden, golden, golden butterflies. Golden butterflies. Awesome. <laughs> I know, golden right? wine bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Is to Caddy, Caddy Jack's Knits. They're out of Madison, Wisconsin. I think they've done 13 podcasts, and I, mm. I just like the ladies. I'd like to meet them someday. And when I found their podcast I had just come back from from Wisconsin in that area I'd been in Madison I'd been in Mount Horeb so it was kind of cool because I did they were frost in Horeb they <laughs> Sorry. do they do have hoarfrost I just need to see this they do have hoarfrost <laughs> so we should go visit someday um so I'm hoping to go to Stitches Midwest anyway that's a different Midwest story but um, Caddy Jack's knits and and she knit the hoarfrost shawl and reminded me that I actually had that pattern so oh. it was really cool to be able to like oh yeah I bought that pattern when it first came out and I want to mm -hmm. knit that mm -hmm. so shout out so gold star to Caddy Jack's knits who also on Instagram like encouraged me about the podcasting and I thought that was really cool, cool. so oh yay. yeah I know yay Jackie and Caitlin and okay. I believe they work for an independent school, which that's oh, how we met. And yeah. different story for a different podcast for a different day. Yes. But that's how we met. So that was kind of cool. our kids both went to an independent school, which means not a public school. It was... Yeah. Different story for a different, different day. Yeah, different story. Because otherwise we're getting, like, hours how long? Oh, over an hour. I know. I know. No, right? but that's okay. It is okay. So... <laughs> So what else? So who we are, it. so chit chat. So yeah. my last few weeks have that's been it. crazy at work. And so I haven't had a lot of knitting time. Yeah. But um but crazy good, not crazy mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, that's it. And I've been 
doing the mom thing and yeah. And yeah. I'm still doing the mom thing even though my kids are in are. Denver and Brooklyn. Oh my god, they still need to be raised. Well, you, no, you know why? I just I know no, I was they with, don't call me. I, I call them. No, like, I, love I was you. with my thirty year old nephew. He still needs a little raising. They all need family, right? <laughs> Who doesn't need family? Do Who doesn't need love? It's not just family. It's needing a little raisin. I need a little loving. So <laughs> yeah, so, I yes. I love my kids and yes. so No, you've got good kids. So do you? Well, you know what? I like the fact that you went first so I can watch to see what... Like, you know what? Being the youngest one in the family... I don't know if you experienced oh, this. Oh, I'm the youngest. Yeah, oh, no, I, I watched know. That's every what I'm single saying. one. You watch what everybody else is doing. Yep. Go, okay, I'm not going to do I'm that. I'm not doing oh, that. i do that yeah. one. Not, I don't <laughs> know. I'm, I've never talked to you about uh-huh. this before. No, and, totally. And a sister or two may be watching, but yes, I watched every single uh-huh. thing that you did with your kids and thought, yes. oh yeah, I'm going oh, to do that. Oh no, I'm not no, going to do, do that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Benefit of being the last. Right. Or towards the end. Right. So, yeah. You yeah. guys, you guys yeah. forged the way. Yep. So the same is true with podcasters. I feel like they all forged the way and made it easier for us yes. to like develop a little community and we hopefully, get to cherry pick and and like hopefully we can just have do. a little community yeah. of people that we get to know i mean believe drinking it, knitters <laughs> drinking knitters <laughs> uh, believe it or not i don't know that many knitters i don't think we live in an area like my niece amy who lives in the madison wisconsin area is a part of the mm-hmm. madison wisconsin knitting guild and that amazed me when I went to that yeah. knitting guild meeting. You but were we saying, oh there's a my ton gosh, of people. hundreds, and and we don't have that luxury. And so mm-hmm. how how lucky would we be if we had a little knitting community that was, you know, even if we just got together occasionally and knit, like it doesn't matter, yeah. you know, just just a little knitting community. No, that, it's true. It's true. Well, I'll be your community. You are my community. <laughs> Hence the podcast. Yes. So anyway, thank you for right. watching. If you've hung through until the end, God bless you. Yeah, and if <laughs> you're you just put it, on, put it on while you wanted to fall asleep and you missed the end, that's okay I get that too. too. Yeah, it's all right. That's all right. <laughs> okay, until podcast right. number three. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thanks happy for watching. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Yes. Have a happy yarn dream. Happy night.